Uh, first, we'll have uh, Lin Wu, who is the director of the uh, genome modification uh, facility at Harvard University. And yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. And our core facility uh, has finished 204 CRISPR uh, projects so far. 65% of the projects were for gene login, and 35% of them were for knockouts. And we have used uh, 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 different kind of reagents of Cas9 and guide RNA to generate the mouse models that carry in targeted gene disruption or, or gene deletion. And uh, the mice models that carry in the site-specific uh, transgene integration. Now, to generate gene knockout mice actually is pretty simple and straightforward. Cas9 and guide RNA are needed uh, for uh, this kind of project. And to generate gene login project, Cas9, guide RNA, and DNA donors are, are required. So in the combination of a mixture of Cas9 or guide RNA uh, for the, to generate the knockout mice, or uh, we need to use Cas9, guide RNA, and DNA donors to generate the gene login mice. So we, we can inject either one of these uh, mixture or the mixture of these three to mice mouse zygote, and then implant the uh, injected embryos into recipients and for her to deliver mutant mice. So now we have used different forms of Cas9 and guide RNA. We have used Cas9 messenger RNA and, and the wild type protein and Cas9 nicase messenger RNA and the protein. So from all of our projects, only uh, we only have a small percentage of the projects that we use one of these three forms, and for the ma majority, all of the projects that we have uh, used Cas9 well type messenger RNA. And there are four projects that we did a side by side comparison, and uh, and from our data, uh, we uh, found that uh, Cas9 protein uh, gave a better gene editing efficiency by 14%, 19%, 5%, and 12% better than the Cas9 messenger RNA. And we also use single guide RNA uh, that are uh, generated through in vitro transcription and the CRISPR and TRISA RNA that were the synthetic molecules. And as here you can see that we only use five of our uh, knock-in projects that we use uh, uh, this synthetic guide. And for the rest of them, we all use single guide RNA. And we can tell that it's both guides' forms uh, are working uh, fine. And so far, we have not uh, get the data from the side-by-side -side comparison of these two forms. So uh, with the Cas9 and guide RNA, we have generated the gene uh, edited uh, mouse model that carrying targeted gene disruption or gene deletion. And we have finished 71 uh, crispr nagal project through uh, non-homologous end-joining, and 62%, uh, 62 projects were designed for gene disruption, and nine for large sequence deletion. And the available data from 58 gene disruption projects that used messenger RNA of the Cas9 form, and one of them were used the protein form of the Cas9. And one to six guide RNA were used, uh, aiming to knock out one to two genes at the same time. And the gene knockout efficiency ran from 10 to 100 percent uh, on an average of 69 percent. So nine projects that were designed for large fragment deletion and with using messenger RNA of the Cas9 form. Two to five guide RNA were used, uh, aiming for delete one gene fragment, and indeed a range of 1.5 to 205 KB gene were indeed uh, successfully deleted. And the gene deletion efficiency ranged from 6 to 68.7% uh, on an average of 39%. So now, uh, from these, all of the gene knockout projects, we found the efficiency were pretty high and it, on the average of 66%. So to generate the mouse model that carries site-specific transgene uh, integration, uh, 
and Cas9 guide RNA and DNA donor were injected into mouse zygote. We finished 133 gene logging projects through HDR or HR in the presence of one of the three um, DNA repair templates. From the available data that uh, uh, from the 59 uh, gene logging project that use a single-stranded uh, oligo as a repair template, and the DNA donor size range from 80 to 220 base. Uh, basis long, and the gene integration efficiency ran from 1.1 to 66% on an average of 18%. So now, analyze 20 of the gene login projects that uh, use the plasma DNA as a repair donor, and the size of the plasma DNA ran from 7.7 .7 to 13.4 kb long, and uh, the gene integration efficiency ran from 2.5 to 57 uh, percent on an average of 17 percent efficiency. So we had two products that uh, use long stretch single stranded DNA as a repair template. And the size range from uh, a little bit over 300 basis long to 2.6 KB and that uh, gene integration rate ran from 6 to 100 percent and an average of 41 percent. Now, some of the gene log, uh, login projects use the Cas9 case to increase the specificity and to decrease the off-target effect. And some of the projects uh, use the Cas9 messenger RNA, and two to four guided RNA were used, and the size of the DNA donor uh, ran from 0.2 to 13.4 KB, and the gene uh, integration rate ran from 7.1 to 100% uh, with an average of 32% efficiency. And two of the projects will use protein and uh, the, on the average of 14.7% gene integration rate. So we also generated the uh, flux allele um, by using uh, these uh, two different kind of approaches. One is to use two single uh, strand oligo, each carrying LOXP uh, sequence, or by using a plasma DNA that uh, carry on these uh, uh, gene structure of uh, the two lux P flanking the gene of interest and plus its homologous arms. Now, let us see how this approach works, the two oligo as a, as a DNA donor. So we inject two lux P uh, ca carrying oligo and plus two guide RNA plus the uh, Cas9 into mouse zygote. And we had nine projects of this kind. Eight of them used the messenger RNA of the Cas9, and one used the protein form. So for each project, two guide RNA were used, and the size of the DNA donor ranged from 150 to 200 uh, nucleotides long, with the intention of inserting 34 uh, base long of LOXP sequence. And from here, you can see, uh, actually, the percentage rate of the mice that carry any one of the LOXP insertion range uh, an average of 33%. And the number of the mice that carry two LOXP inserted on the same allele, uh, it is pretty low. It ranged from one to four per project. And the efficiency for this type of insertion range from 1.3 to 8.9%. It is not high, but it worked um, in our facility. So overall, we can see here is the overall gene targeting for the uh, knockout projects has uh, significantly higher uh, uh, gene editing efficiency compared with the gene logins. So now in conclusion, we found in vivo uh, targeted gene disruption is more efficient compared to the transgene uh, integration. And our core facility has a good success with both type of genome modification with using uh, CRISPR technology. And our results demonstrate that uh, CRISPR-Cas9 technology is a robust and rapid method for the generation of genome-edited mouse model for biomedical research. So all of the work uh, I presented here are the contribution from our team members, and their name is listed here. And I would also like to thank the support from MCB FAS of Harvard University. And thank you for more details. You can see our poster. And uh, 